Hello my dear viewers, welcome to today's message. Today being Thursday, June 13, 2024, and the message today for all of us, each and every one of us, for the whole collective, and let us begin. Welcome everybody, welcome my dear viewers. I hope you will enjoy today's reading. I hope you, like me, look forward to seeing what every day ignites and what it brings us, what new messages are coming. What's getting repeated, because what re gets repeated is what's going to take place very soon. And um, then we have timing. Timing starts showing us everything. Then, then we see what else is igniting each day. So I hope you'll enjoy this reading today. Let's start by the first message for all of us. And in the process of this, I'd like to wish happy birthdays. Those of you celebrating today, June 13, I wish you a very happy birthday, a glorious day. Those of you who are celebrating any other, there's the message, family. Uh, those of you who are celebrating other occasions, I wish you the best of the best. Those of you who are not celebrating, I still wish you the best and welcome you, each and every one of you here. My dear viewers, the, the message is very interesting. It's all about family. So let's have a look. It says, this situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel at peace. So it shows that you need to pay your attention, surround this member of family with you, your experience, your compassion, your understanding, in whichever way, whatever they're going through, be there for them and you will see that your guardian angels, the universe is going to be supporting you and with you in the process of healing the situation. My dear viewers, before I start um, bringing out more cards and more messages, I'd like you to, to be, if you're new and you're not aware of this, I've got to repeat it daily for those of you who hear it every day, I apologize. <laughs> um, the seven messages are for all of us. It's a disclaimer that I've got a, I've got no choice to say it. And they're for each and every one of us, all of these messages. But you can make them personal, ask a question, nominate an answer. You can choose one. You can choose two from any pile. You can choose three, whatever you want. You can choose the answer you want. Make it personal. Make it specific for you. Ask anything you want from timing, um, details, everything, whatever you like to know. So... Let me now, and when I come to actually open them and go through them, I'll let you know so you can put me on pause if you're not ready and then unpause it to get the answers if you're not ready. So while I'm shuffling and getting the messages here soon, I'll be doing that. Prepare your questions and nominate uh, which card you want to answer you, which message. So, okay. We've got growth. Growth is all about transcending from where you are to higher levels. I see a lot of success coming in many areas of your life. Chinese year of the rabbit, Chinese year of the goat here, 44, for those of you who are interested in numbers. Um, and a lot of growth. Let's see one more. Oh, stepping out. Stability. Stability is on its way. With it comes a lot of changes to take you to a level of stability so the changes that might take place this is very important i'll say it the changes that will take place are going to be making you feel maybe unhappy some of some of you will be happy but some of you will be dreading the change because it's something maybe you don't like or you won't like at the time but ultimately you need to know that these changes are taking place slowly to take you to a level of stability you'll finally have stability in your life so that's that one now, my dear viewers, we're going to take four important messages. The high priestess kept on falling, the three, the two of wands relocation when I was shuffling the cards. So we'll see if they'll come out. The high priestess and the two of wands. Now, they kept on falling, uh, coming out while I was shuffling. Okay, so my dear viewers, now before I um, take these four important messages for the collective, we're going to go through these messages and see what they are. So... This is the time. If you have questions, put me on, on pause. Write down what you want. Nominate which one. And then um, unpause it to see the answers. Uh, we will, I'll be ready in a moment. 
All right, I made my choice. So let's go. The first one. It says ornaments. Okay, this is all about extra money coming in. It's about early retirement. This is about celebrating something magnificent, something incredible. Um, an investment being matured, some money that's coming in, finishing work, starting something new. Some of you just retiring, early retirement, and just enjoying um, enjoying your life. A lot of excitement here, a lot of celebrations. Maybe it's due to um, some sort of investment maturing. Or it could be to do with extra money. It could be to do with opening your own business, doing something to do with retail or beauty, home decoration. Ultimately, a home is getting ready maybe to, for you to move in, like it's been building and or you've been in the process of purchasing and now it's ready for you to walk into a new home. It is about something spectacular that's taking place, something that's just finished and you're about to start something new or, or start a new life after the finishing, like retirement. It's just spectacular and celebrations. So we've got that one. Let's have a look at this one here. It's got the faux clover, faux leaf clover. The clover is all about extreme luck. I've got to put my glasses on for this. Yes, great, great good fortune great good fortune the club is absolute luck and fortune this is when i say play the lotto or the lottery something big might happen you could be celebrating this and then now we come to this one what did i ask oh yes i was trying to remember my question right the dog this is connected to the chinese year of the dog it can be connected to the chinese year of the dog connected to a uh, supporter this is someone very supportive this is a supportive friend a loyal friend and this person is going to be very helpful in your life. They're a very faithful companion. There is a possibility that friendship can turn into love. Very strong. That possibility with this uh, message. Soulmate. And um, some of you could be thinking about getting another dog, another pet. Now, the dog doesn't only mean a dog. It can mean a dog. But it's also a pet. It can be also a child. It could be to do with a uh, Doctor, nurse, something to do with the nursing or doctor, you know, medical matters. Uh, but I do see here a pet might maybe needing attention, vet, um, and a soulmate more than anything else. Okay, companion, faithful companion. Now, 18, I wish I remember what I asked. <laughs> I nominated this, but I don't remember. 18, okay, let's talk about 18. First, we've got number 10. Uh, 10 is connected to the Chinese year of the rooster. We've got the Chinese year of the dog, the rooster. Uh, we've got the goat, we've got the monkey, and we've got the rat. Just in case you want the Chinese. 18 days from now, 18 days or 18 weeks from now, something happening in September, October, between September, October, something big happening. And I feel like um, there is a challenge that's going to put an end to something that was very hard, very harsh. There is a challenge and finally it'll be over. Yes, okay. This is also connected to people that are born in October, which is Libra, Scorpio. People that are born in September, Virgo and Leo. September, Virgo, sorry, Virgo and Libra. Libra twice there. Okay, now let's have a look at this one. Um, the elephant is all about learning from life from the past and also it's about life's journey learning from the past and life's journey it says a long journey either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end so learning from yeah wisdom comes in time and learning okay so now we'll have a look at this one right it says i will contact you when i'm able to Right now, my life is too complicated to bring you into it. But know that I do want to talk to you. This is um, connected to someone that wants to talk to you, but their life is complicated. It is connected to the Chinese year of the horse, connected to July, connected to timing seven days, seven weeks from now, and July itself again. And that's it. That's that, exactly that. Seven days from now, Chinese year of the horse. Right, and people born in July, that's what I forgot. I uh, can't sell Leo connected to this situation. Oh, we got the geese. We had the geese a few days ago. Okay, the geese are all about migration. Some of you might be migrating. Some of you may be uh, relocating. It's that two of one situation. 
relocating to a better place um, or relocation due to some circumstances, being dependent, dependable, being de dependent on someone maybe or a situation uh, needing you to be um, some situation that needs you to be depending on you maybe. That's what it is. Something that's depending on you. Knowing where you are going. Leaving no one behind. Cyclical and faithful. This is due to someone being honest and faithful. Leaving a situation. On a quest but leaving so that they don't leave anyone behind. They don't upset anybody. This is also about the change I was talking about. All the changes that are coming. Changes. For stability. So this is an action that somebody will take. They might relocate in order to bring stability in their life or in the life of the person or the family or the person that they're leaving behind there could be someone leaving could be family situation because we've got three here changes that are taking place connected to the letter a for antarctica um uh, changes all about changes that are going to ultimately bring success a new beginning a lot of changes ultimately there will be success as for timing we got 14 days from now or 14 weeks from now the letter A, and we've got also um, Chinese year this year, the dragon. Uh, we have also Chinese year of the rabbit, Chinese year of the of the rat, and we've got also um, this is connected to people that are Taurus and Gemini and Aries, also connected to the situation. <sighs> okay, my dear viewers. Now we'll do the last one. And the last one says, as you, as you surrender your 3D expectations, I surrender to your 5D connection. So as you surrender um, your expectations, I surrender to our connection. So this is about someone wanting to surrender your expectations so that they can surrender to the connection. Connected to the Chinese year of the ox buffalo, connected to um, somebody that is born in February, who is either Pisces or Aquarius. This is about a connection that might work well if somebody surrenders their expectations. It is also about two, two weeks from now, two months from now. Interesting. Now that we have done this, we'll start now, my dear viewers, with the messages for today. Starting with, not a very nice one, the Nine of Swords. Sleepless nights, worry. Feeling guilty, unhappiness. Hmm. Tears and unhappiness. I'm going to clarify it, of course. Ultimately, it has to be clarified. I'll just put these over here, right? The clover and the dog. Yep. Yeah. I'll move it over there to see the next one. It says there's one more challenge, and this situation is going to come to an end. We have nine, nine of swords and nine of, of wands. It seems to me with the nine of swords, somebody might be sacrificing, feeling guilty, there's one more challenge and this uh, pain will stop, will come to an end. One more challenge. I'll clarify to understand it all. Strength is needed and it's going to be given power, courage, so that the challenge is over, over, so the challenges can be, the challenge can be dealt with and um, you're able to move forward if it's yourself or the person with you that's going through this. And there comes the Eight of Wands. This comes to the rescue of the situation. It's been going on this situation for some time. So it looks to me like some news information is going to come to light and this information is going to resolve this guilt, this sleepless nights, this worry, this challenge. And also there is an opportunity, but you have to act quickly and take advantage of it. With It's like quick motion. You have to not stop and not worry and not think about it. Just take action quickly in regard to it. Because like I said, the, there'll be a resolution and an opportunity. Where you don't see coming a new beginning that brings you incredible, incredible um, truth, revelations, understanding why certain things are taking place and a great victory. What you don't see also is a lot of money coming and this money is going to be ground changing, may, helping you relocate, buy real estate and gives you a lot of uh, things that you were not able to do before. And there is a soulmate coming into your life and healing you. You're healing together. You're growing together. You're becoming strong together. So that's great news. Okay. 
Now let's take three more messages from this deck here to see what else we need to know. What is very important for me to pay attention to in this reading? What's going to double up and triple? What is the heavens want you to know? Three messages. Right. Wow, we have the lovers. Mm. So we had the two of cups, the soulmate card. Then we've got the twin flame and the lovers. And the lovers, it seems to me that this decision and this one challenge left and this sleepless nights is to do with a decision calling for you to be made in regard to a partnership. A great partnership, the lovers, is a beautiful card. So a decision is needed. But um, perhaps there is some awkwardness here, which we'll find out what that, what it is. Wow, the Eight of Cups. Okay, now I understand. It is about leaving the current life. Sadly leaving the Eight of Cups. Very sadly leaving. Because where you are, or, the, or your partner, whoever this person is, it could be a family member, they're not happy where they are. And it's very challenging for them to leave. They've got a lover someone wonderful they've met and they have to leave someone behind and it's very painful it's not easy but it's happening they're leaving and they're moving forward and that will stop their sleepless nights they worry they feel guilty that they're leaving maybe that's what this is all about the family member maybe they've got children they're leaving children behind i feel like this is very much connected to the chinese year of the um chinese year of the dog chinese year of the horse Chinese ear of the ox buffalo and Chinese ear of the snake are very much connected to the story. Now, last one. And we've got the page of swords. Someone of air energy, uh, Libra, Aquarius or Gemini could be air energy. And I feel like uh, this person is very honest and direct and brutally truthful. So they are directing uh, they're giving you some sort of advice and the advice is very meaningful because it's the truth and it's going to help you do what is the best course of action and even if it is leaving uh, a family behind or a part, like a, a marriage behind to go to the next one maybe you are someone that can't cheat and you've met someone and you've fallen in love and you've got to leave your family and your children because you don't want to um, pursue this relationship further but you don't want to be you know um, you don't want to betray your family so you've got to leave uh, because you can't you know this person is the one that you want to spend your life with it could be something like that I'm just seeing it is a possibility okay ultimately we're talking about the air energy here leaving maybe an air energy Libra Aquarius Gemini but the truth is there someone is supporting you helping you understand what's going on before I start uh, clarifying what I'm going to do now is Take this, okay, put it over here, like this. The clever, I'll put it over here. Yeah. Or maybe here, actually. Can we? Yes, we can still see the clever. All right. We're going to take two more messages for the collective. We've got one, the cup, and the cup and the cutlery. Okay, so the cup is all about prosperity, overflowing prosperity. That's right, overflowing prosperity. Whether it's full or empty, the accounts are going to be full. Everything will be okay with your money-wise. Um, I feel like some of you could be taking care of business. Some of you could be thinking of starting your own business. You will be fulfilled. It's about fulfillment. It's also about careers um, that are to do with care, giving care, um, taking care of situations, nurturing. There's a very nurturing energy will be around you to fulfill you to give you overflowing prosperity the cutlery is about again business this is about business tools wanting to buy more tools maybe for business any business it doesn't have to be food related but in regard to careers there could be a situation with food related um, work needing more money to buy more tools perhaps but living well living a life of comfort money is coming in living a life of comfort for especially those of you who are having trouble who are sole providers there will be more work more money coming in so that's beautiful good news now let's have a look at two more messages and then we'll clarify everything okay i was given three let's see what they are right the soulmate situation is here here we go soulmate mm, how beautiful so remember i said soulmate 
someone magnificent it says yes this is your soulmate yes you are going to be with your soulmate now you might not know it right this is a bit later on you might not know this what i'm seeing is that new love is coming now this new love a new person will stir up has already stirred up your romantic feelings so the feelings have already been stirred up with the lovers and this new love is going to turn around and become a soulmate situation and is going to continue and escalate to high levels of engagement, ascending to a higher level. Your love life will be ascending to higher levels of commitment. So this is where this person may be leaving and moving forward. That's why we've got moving forward, leaving drastically, sadly behind, leaving someone behind, that's for sure, and moving forward. Let's have a look at the message for today. Oh, two. Okay. Well, it says have faith and trust. Transformations occur through acceptance. If there is a situation like this, it might be very painful. It might be to the point where you might be hurting because you're being left behind, especially if you're left behind with children and uh, one partner's leaving, sadly leaving. They've got no choice. They have met someone and apparently it looks like this person is their destiny. Now, that's very important. I know when we are in pain and anguish, it's hard for us to um, to step out and look at the bigger picture. It is so hard to do. It is, in fact, unbearable for most to be able to do that. But when you step out and look at the bigger picture, you see why this is happening. This person isn't leaving um, happily. They have a conscience. They have care. They do love you, your, the family, their children, they do love, they're not going out easily. They've got sleepless nights, they're worried, they're, they're, they're devastated to leave, but they have no choice. When the destiny comes, when it's someone like a soulmate, there is nothing left in their hands. Everything, everything works towards them moving to what is destined. And it looks like to me with these three cards and have faith and accept the situation, it says once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So if you don't accept it, you can only be in pain and bitter. The only way to accept and have inner peace, inner happiness, is when you accept a situation, when it goes out of your hands and out of your control, that means it is destined for that person to be with someone else. And that's what this is all about. Acceptance is the only key factor for you to heal. There is no other way. And... A new beginning is destined for them and for you. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Live your dreams passionately until you embrace the new beginning that is destined for you also. Whether you are the one leaving, whether the one you're staying behind, there is a new chapter for you also. Embrace what is coming, the new beginning, and accept what is leaving. This life is filled with chapters of coming in, and leaving but the main thing you need to know there's going to be growth there's going to be stability there's going to be a soulmate a soulmate is given twice so whoever's going they're going with their soulmate whoever's staying behind they have a soulmate also in a new beginning coming so have faith whatever you do don't lose faith because whatever is happening there is something incredible for you also luck is on everybody's side and there is someone also for the people who are staying behind. There's some sort of love, affection, luck, a new beginning, whatever is needed will be all also um, given to you in return for what is happening. In return, in regard to the destiny that is taking place, sometimes somebody's destiny comes earlier. Yours might come a little bit later. So just be patient and you'll see things are going to be working out for the best. Right, all the soul searching that you might be doing, everything, you're, you will have your answers very soon because um, what you don't see coming, right? This is so important is because remember why I take these cards. This is what's coming for this person. The one that's leaving, sadly, they already met their lover. They don't know that the lover is going to turn and be their soulmate. But this soulmate is yet to come for those who are staying behind. So always remember growth, stability and success and a soulmate are coming. Have faith. Don't lose faith. Now we're going to start with this situation, starting with the Nine of Swords. 
The nine of swords is there because there is a new beginning destined for this person. So it's part of their destiny and they are going to be very prosperous. There's prosperity, the beginning of prosperity. Let's have a look at the nine of swords a little bit more. Yes, destined for a new life and a new love, abundance of joy and happiness and destined for blessings coming in. So in every way, uh, as you can see, the answer here is that the person that's crying in tears is the one probably leaving, feeling guilty, or the one even staying behind. Whatever it may be, whoever it may be, what is destined is a new beginning that brings on stability, growth, great the greatest love, a lot of happiness for family, a lot of happiness dreams comes true, a lot of blessings pouring in, and the beginning of absolute prosperity. This could be the greatest heaven gift from the heavens like the clover this could be also an amazing windfall bringing on happiness and being able to buy a new home dreams come true a lot of prosperity play the lotto or the lottery have a look at your money reading very important before you do anything okay so now we understand what's going on uh, with the tears and the sleepless nights there it is again the ace of swords a new beginning which we have already here do you see that twice the ace of swords two times a new beginning that brings you victory a new beginning that gives you understanding then you'll know why you might have been sad about this person leaving and being left behind but then you'll know you'll understand everything with the new beginning that's coming then you'll say that aha that's why that happened that's what's happening here no matter what collapses no matter what falls apart the reason it's falling apart is because it has no future. There's nothing left. So what's coming is going to be something you truly will treasure and have a great victory. Okay, now, now you're taking defense. It's okay. You're fighting for what you believe in. You're putting your foot down. Now got to concentrate before cards start coming out. Leaving uh, in tears. Let's have a look at this. Leaving with sadness. The Eight of Cups for the Collective. Right. Some of you are leaving because you want your freedom. Some of you are taking a leap of faith in a new situation and moving forward. Ultimately, there's freedom. And there's that dog again. That's bizarre. We've got the Chinese the dog here again, Chinese ear of the dog. Okay. I feel like the dog is connected to this uh, big time. Um, also, there is the uh, what we just saw before. It's falling apart because it has no more future. There's nothing left. Um, it was bound to fall. It was bound to end. It's It had reached its peak and it was ending. That's why leaving but of course leaving with regret justice will prevail no matter what happens so you don't have to worry let's have a look at the lovers and see what the lovers is all about the lovers for the collective right the sun is going to be shining and it's going to bring you a lot of success a lot of healing for those who are suffering in tears or sad because they're losing someone there's going to be abundance of happiness someone new entering your life someone wonderful we're talking about the lovers, okay? So there's a lot of healing in this love situation, in this partnership. There's going to be a proposal, one that's going to be spectacular, one that can be. This could be the proposal, the engagement. We've got engagement. This person could be saying, you know, let's get engaged. Let's move to the next level. Let's live together. Let's start a family. could be any of those. But it is one that's going to be spectacular. And it's starting in June. Uh, sorry, July. It's starting in July and moving into, yes, July. All this is going to happen in July. It's amazing. July has been like non-stop. July has been really big. I'm seeing water energy here. Some of you have water energy. Some of you uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I'm also seeing Leo here very strong. Some of you who have Leo, who might be Virgo, Leo, Cuspy. Okay, now let's have a look at the challenge. One more challenge and all this is over. What is the challenge? Let's have a look. Okay, so somebody feeling trapped and it's time for them to leave by August. So that's why I said July begins, August, this person will be leaving. This entrapment, feeling trapped in a situation, not happy, is over. The soulmate is there playing the role. As I was saying, my dear viewers, the soulmate. Three times we've got this. We've got the soulmate, and then we've got the Two of Cups, which is a very strong soulmate connection. When two people unite, they heal together, they become strong together. They're destined to unite long term because they are uh, like they are a mirror of each other. They're so much alike and they are so much connected. The connection is overwhelming 
which is a soul, a soulmate connection. So I feel like whatever's falling apart is falling apart because it has no more foundation. There isn't enough love to hold it together. And there is something better coming along for both parties. So remember that both parties are going to be thriving. Okay, so this was all in regard to, this fell out of nowhere, this one. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, maybe I took one. I can't remember. Did I take one or two? Hmm. I'll take another one. Right, so it is something that was excessive. Something was being done a little bit too much that couldn't, maybe there was too much um, um, controlling. Maybe it was a situation where it was something being excessive, feeling trapped and controlled. So that's ending the painful truth is releasing the situation. And there's what's left is just maybe three, three weeks. Just the timing, three weeks I see here. And now um, this this situation, oh my God, I just get it. This situation, this challenge, um, it looks to me like it could have been because uh, it is connected to someone that is very controlling, uh, someone very... Um, and I feel like this person didn't want to go through betrayal. They didn't want to be a traitor. So I feel like this is also painful truth that they're dealing with and, and releasing. I also feel this is in connection to someone of water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And the choices, they're very interesting. So it's the the challenge and is to do with actually overcoming a challenge and then relocating. There's the two of wands. So you are moving forward. Somebody's leaving. Somebody's moving and relocating. That's what the two of ones kept on coming that I was talking about. Okay. Now, um, you might be feeling as though you've been left in the cold because I keep seeing the five of... Uh, and there's the high priestess. Remember at the beginning of the reading, I said the high priestess and the two of ones. Now I understand that what's hidden from you is this person will finally relocate, even though you might find it hard to believe at this point in time. You'll think, oh, no, they will never leave but they will. Uh, that's what it's all about. They're leaving. Let's have a look at this. Um, the Page of Swords for the Collective. Let's see what this is all about. I'll just move this one alongside like that. Okay. So it looks to me like there is a rebirth, a new beginning. That's going to be very healing. Uh, for those of you who, who are looking for the truth, I also feel like the, the, there is someone of air energy here. Uh, they might have air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, they need very very strong strength in their life and courage to be able to continue on. And I think they will. They could be one of the children that might be finding it hard maybe to, to have uh, someone leave. So the strength is all could be a partner, someone that's staying behind. Air energy. They are going to be given the strength, the power to be able to move forward. There is a new beginning destined for them, a rebirth, a new lease of life. So they need to know that. Uh, and this is in regard to this air energy. So this is one that I said they're brutally honest. Uh, there, This could be in connection also to someone of earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, so strength. And this could be that Virgo, Leo that I was talking about. Very much so. Somebody, a cuspy sort of. Or they could be a Leo with Virgo in them. Because we've got double double Leo here. Let's have a look at this uh, proposal. And actually, I'll look at the strength. We understand the strength, but I'll just look into it. Yes, it's needed at a time where somebody's been sacrificing and now they're very sad because they're losing someone they love, maybe. So they're feeling inadequate, rejected, crying, tears, unhappy with everything. Maybe they have they have sacrificed so much and now they feel like they're still sacrificing. This person is the one that's going to get all the strength and all the power. But I guess if this person had stayed and didn't leave, there would have been a lot of conflict. That's why they had to relocate. There it is. There it is. If they didn't, there was too much disagreement and it was going to get really bad. That's why they're leaving and there's the two of ones relocating. So now what I'm going to do is find out about... This uh, proposal or this situation that comes up where um, it's going to resolve a problem, I feel like the resolution is leaving, and then an opportunity. Let's see what the Eight of Wands is for the collective. Right, yeah, opening your mind, broadening your horizon, looking at the bigger picture. Torn between to stay or go, but ultimately there will be a goal going for what they need finally making a choice it was hard it wasn't easy 
wanting to hold on the life they've got, but they ultimately have no choice but to go. Even though to the point maybe they're sacrificing and leaving, they're not happy leaving, uh, they've got no choice but to leave because they're not happy where they are. But ultimately I feel like um, this opportunity and quick, you know, I said it's an opportunity and a resolution is for this person to actually leave and go and to open their mind to starting, you know, a new life, leaving their life behind. It's they're not, They might not leave their life completely behind. They might be still attached to family. But ultimately they'll make the choice to go. And if they're defeated, there's nothing in their hands. But one thing is good, money is coming in. This is something that's destined to end no matter what. There could be somebody passing here. Uh, something big happening in July again. I saw the moon, a lot of truth revealing something that's coming to an end and a lot of money is coming in. This money could be inheritance, big money. Oh, it's here. So yes, there is something ending. There could be someone passing. There is a possibility of someone passing because we had the Ace of Swords. According to the old legends, this isn't written in any book of tarot. When the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords unite, it can be a passing of someone. So we had the Ace twice and we've got the Ten now. It shows to me and there's inheritance there is a possibility of someone passing um, and there could be an inheritance left for you, uh, for someone. There is an area where, you know, somebody's feeling defeated. They've got no choice. The situation is ending. Somebody's leaving without a doubt. But there is another possibility for a minority, maybe not for the majority, where this money, this wealth, this big amount, life-changing money can be a big inheritance, major inheritance or a windfall. So take it as you like it because we've got the clever here. So this money could be could be a windfall at the same time because it is ground changing, foundation changing money. So you never know. Could be wealth to the highest level. Could be coming at a time where you need it most, where it brings you stability perhaps. Stability might come because of this money. Luck could be providing you the stability that you need by this money because this is life-changing money for those of you who are moving who have to start over again start a new place buy a new place rent a new place but i don't think you'll be renting when you have this kind of money i feel like you could be buying your own place so luck is there stability is there and abundance is there unexpected large amount of money foundation changing money remember that very important and now my dear viewers, let's see what the Chinese cookies want to tell us. Anything they want to add to all of this? Yes, they do. Let's see what the message is. It says, wisdom. It says, the focus on the past is to lose the future. So those of you who are sad, those of you who are leaving in sadness, those of you who are staying behind and sad, remember, to focus on the past, you will lose your future. So listen to advice from an older person which will allow you to move on. Always remember, holding on to the past is no, not good in any way. Positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. Remember what I said? A major purchase worth making. There could be money, enough money coming in for you to be able to buy your own home. A major purchase. A major purchase is worth making. Could be a house, could be a car, it could be um, a condo, it could be um, something small, maybe uh, like a small house, a caravan. But there is there is a major purchase worth making. They're saying that it's worth making, and you are going to have the funds to do so. So that's magnificent. And we've got stability. So that's why I keep thinking possibility of a home. Right, and the clever is there supporting you, not to mention the soulmate over and over. And that's the end of your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It's free. To support me, please see the videos all the way to the end, especially when they're long. Um, I mean, always watch them to the end, just in support of me if you want to. And if you want to give me a tip, I would really appreciate it if you would see, not see, not watch, click on and let it run. You don't have to watch it. One or two ads. That's the greatest tip you can give me. I'll be in gratitude if you do it. And if you don't do it, still. Um, 
I'll be grateful to whatever you contribute towards towards me. Uh, my dear viewers, I wish you abundance of blessing, blessings and everything you do, no matter how painful the situation is. Remember, to have inner peace, you've got to go through acceptance and understanding and be truthful to yourself to understand the situation has ended. That's why it's moving to the next level. And in the next level, you will be rewarded with a soulmate, with a new beginning and with this abundance. It's for you also, those who are left behind. With all that being said, I wish you a lot of love and light. Namaste.